what we're going to look at in this video is, is how we actually use the True Meter Liberty uh, with an encoder, basically to replace where you've got mechanical measuring and counting systems with an electronic system. It's an application we get asked for quite a lot, um, so we'll have a video here which actually shows how you actually connect the items together and then how we set the actual Liberty up to uh, work with the encoder. So the parts you require for this measuring application is one encoder, which we've got here, the True Meter Liberty, uh, one or two wheels, which we've got there, and a hinge bracket. And I think the thing to mention at this stage with all applications is if you're not the electrical engineer, um, then really you do need to get some electrical advice as well as obviously watching this video and, and using our advice. And basically what we'll be doing here, we've put the connector on the end of the encoder lead and we've put a, a lead onto the, uh, the one of the plugs for the Liberty and the, the encoder will take its DC supply from the Liberty and we'll do that next. On the left here we've got the um, supply in, this is your AC power supply in and on the right hand side here we've got the four way plug which provides the DC with the red and the, bl and the green wires to the encoder so the, the Liberty unit we're using here provides the DC power supply to the encoder. So what we've done here, we've, we've put the wheel onto the encoder and I've plugged the connections into the Liberty and we're just going to go in to look at the function codes on the Liberty. The main one being uh, setting the, the count to quadrature. Um, we're going to go into that with the function codes. So we, end, we press the two buttons here. This is all explained in the, in the manual. And we're going to go to function code number seven. Now we've already set it to number three. Number three in the in the manual is for quadrature times one. And what this means is that when we turn the wheel on the encoder, the counter will count up and count down. And that's the main one that you want to get set first, and that will give you an idea of um, how the wheel's counting, etc. So we press the two buttons together to go run. And what we'll see now, the, the, the wheel is a half metre wheel, 50 centimetres. And if we if we turn the wheel through one complete revolution, what we have on the display is 50 and basically that is that is uh, a count of 1 to 1 so we haven't changed the scaling at all that's 50 pulses with a 50 count then if you want to do things like scaling it so that is 0.5 of a meter you do things like change the scaling factor and, and other things but that's that's the, the one you need to do first the quadrature and that will at least get you started with the count the other function code that we've changed on the Liberty now is function code 3, which is the number of decimal places. Uh, we've left the scaling factor as 1 to 1, because we, what we want to do is the, um, the pulses from the, the wheel, we want to use one pulse to equal 1 centimetre. So in, in, this, in the decimal places, we've put two decimal places, so you've got 0, 0.00, and now what we'll find with two revolutions of the wheel, we, we, we'll end up with... 1.0 and, and there it is so that's one meter of measurement and it displays on the display as 1.00